snowed. Lots of snow. Lots of snow. So she cleaned off the car, and now I gotta walk through it all to get in the car. What the hell? Oh, they're froze. We didn't get much snow. Kinda sucks. Probably should have gone to the dump before it snowed. Because now this is all covered in snow. Whatever. It'll blow off down the road. This is why you clean off the car properly. Because now there's snow all over the car that I have to sit in. Sit down. Get this blanket and sit down. So we're currently en route to patient first for my sister to get her shin looked at. I don't know why. And I don't know why she decided to go at 9.30 at night either. Because when, when she's been go, home all day. Listen, because when you go, when they're closing, they don't dig around. They still dick around, it takes forever. Like I said, it's 9.30 at night, 9.23 to be exact. Actually, that clock's probably slow. She's like, come with me in case there's ice. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do if there's ice? Die in the car too? Slow down. Where are you going? They're falling. Oh, they're breaking apart. Oh. So we made it into the doctor's office. Amanda was trying to get her blood pressure done. Yeah, that didn't take five hours to do. Her pulse too, that took a long time. I don't know, it took us 20 minutes to get into the room to see someone. Oh, she's gonna hit it. Well, that was close. All right, we're leaving the doctors. He said there ain't nothing wrong. Take this medicine and you'll be fine. So we got some drugs apparently. Nothing fancy happened, no x-rays or nothing. Kind of boring. But it only took 30 minutes, so it wasn't terrible. See, it only took a couple minutes. This is bouncy as all. I need to fix these roads around here. Cruising. Check out all the snow. First stop of the morning is to the wall wall. Gotta get some gas and then go Christmas shopping. What goodies can we find in a fabric store? Thread, bows. Ooh, what are these things? Strong beads. Would you ever imagine so much fabric in a fabric store? What? Stop number two is over. Now on to stop number three to Target. Gotta pick up some more gifts. Whoop to the super target! Target successfully finished, now on to the mall. Who the hell knows what we're going to get here. Costco time. All done at the mall today, now we gotta try to navigate this traffic circle without getting hit. But time to head to the next destination. I don't know where that's at. Guess See we'll Santa. find out here soon. Just got a little perusing these thrift stores every now and again. You never know what treasures might pop up. 
So we just got done getting the dog's picture taken. Uh, I think now we got to go finish some more Christmas shopping at a couple more stores and then head on home. All I know is I'm pretty beat. Didn't sleep last night, so I'm kind of tired. Want to take a nap, but I think I might just pull on through. We'll see. Well, finally made it back from shopping today. I still have to pick up a few more gifts. Got some gifts from our Reddit secret Santa person and for a few people. Still got to finish up for family and some other friends, but almost done. What's up guys, I kinda look like hell right now. Just woke up a couple hours ago. Um, I think it's like eight o'clock right now. Woke up around six. Went to bed yesterday at like 5.30 in the evening. Didn't wake up till six in the morning, so I got a hell of a lot of sleep last night. Not really sure what I'm gonna do today. I think I might go down to the storage unit. Gotta empty a trailer out, get some dressers pictured and everything put on Craigslist, get them sold. Got some tools in there and everything too. Not really sure, but we'll figure out. And I guess you guys will find out here in a minute. All right guys, we made it down here to the storage unit now, as you can see. Spin around this way. Oh yeah. So we made it down here, got the trailer uh, hooked up to the truck over here. We're gonna get that unloaded. It's all full of furniture and basically furniture. But basically all full of furniture and some tools. There's an air compressor and stuff back there in the back. We've got that all hooked up there. And now I'm just gonna get to unloading it, get pictures of it and get it listed online here soon. All right, we just got finished up here at the storage unit. I'm fixing to head on home now. Got the furniture you saw right there. It's all piled up, got the toolbox and everything there. But got all this here piled in here. The trailer's empty. Got some pictures piled up there. Some beer signs and stuff there. I'm gonna go home, do some eBay and Just parked the trailer. Sorry if this is a little shaky right now. I'm holding it without my tripod, so you can see that one trailer there to my left is my 20 foot trailer and the one you can see right there behind me right about there that's my 12 foot trailer that's the one i was emptying today yep, time to head on home now time for me to go get my hair cut get it all cut off or some of it at least who knows see cutting time cutting time. boom it's all cut off look at that it's so short beard's trimmed i think i look beautiful who knows Pretty snazzy. So I'm trying something new right here. Me and one of my buddies who resells as well. We've kind of got a little um, bet going per se. We're both going to be listing mystery boxes on eBay because apparently those are the big rage nowadays. So we're going to see who makes the most money off of it. It's going up for auction seven days starting at a penny. Weighs 13 pounds. And there's the box right there full of all the goodies. You guys want to see what's inside of it? I could show you what's inside of it. It's a mystery box. Give it all away. Come on now. But this is going to be up for auction. If it goes well, I'll do more of them. Who knows? I'll let you guys know in a week. Or maybe if this video is out, you can check it out on eBay. So I've been at auctions all day. Totally forgot to bring my tripod and everything. Um, bought one unit so far for 140 bucks. I got three more facilities for the day. So hopefully buy a couple more. It's currently 6.30 at night. And they're in the evening. I uh, just bought one more unit for 40 bucks, a little 5x15. Didn't have a lock with me, so she threw the lock back on there. Waiting for her to come back around and unlock it. I'm going to load it up real quick, take it over to the storage unit. So here's what it looks like. Well, here's the unit right here. Paid 40 bucks for it. Does not look too shabby. Let's see, got over here. A little easy up there. Those are always nice to have, but it's just clean, stacked. So who knows? I'm going to load it up. Take it over to the storage unit. And we'll see, it feels like the Keurig's in there, so that's a little bit of something there. But I'll come back to you if I find anything good while I'm loading it up, who knows? For anybody who was wondering, the Keurig is in the box and it looks brand new, the cord's still sealed up. So that'll be a pretty nice thing to throw on eBay. Just found this little Brinks home security box, nothing much in it, a little wristwatch and some change over there, nothing in the little box. Right there, a little an older HP laptop can't really see it it must be the time for computers for me or something not much out of it yet 
Still moving through, trying to get this done relatively quickly. Well, this is looking to turn out like a pretty good $40 unit here. Just open this box up. Miscellaneous bedroom. These are probably my favorite ones because this is where you always find like jewelry boxes or something like that. But look at that pool little jewelry box out of here. And I just looked through the drawers. There's some earrings and everything up there. There's that one looks to be silver. Check it out later. Some more jewelry in there. Doesn't look really anything real in there. There's some in there. There's a that looks to be a silver necklace in the back. Some more stuff in there. Didn't really look in the sides, but who knows what's in there. We'll check it out later. I'm back here at the storage unit now. Just unloaded the truck. Truck's empty. I'm gonna cruise on back here. Sorry if this is shaky. Don't have my tripod with me again. Forgot it. But there's part of that unit. Didn't really realize how much stuff was in there until I started moving it out. And there was four mattresses all together and the TV stand was kind of busted up. I'm gonna go pick that stuff up tomorrow and take it to the landfill. Start working on that $140 unit. Maybe tomorrow, might do that on Thursday, not sure. Gonna decide it's supposed to be freakishly cold tomorrow, like in the single digits with the wind chill. I don't really wanna work in the freezing cold. Time to head on home for the night. Truck says it's 34 degrees. With the wind chill, I wanna say it feels about 20 outside. So yeah, it's kind of cold, but tomorrow it's supposed to be worse. So I'll probably end up cleaning that unit out on Thursday. We'll see. I'll let you guys take a peek at it before I start cleaning it out. So I just finished going through this jewelry box here, the one that I showed you a little bit ago. Nothing too crazy came out of it. Got a little bit of silver here and then two little gold studs, 14 karat gold studs. But that's really about it. This is all just costume jewelry. This necklace here that I originally thought was silver turned out not to be. But it's funny because this one here, that stud there, I always have a tendency to check in these drawers that have the rings like in between them to see if there's anything stuck down in, the, down in there. And that's exactly where that one was. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked that video. I'm going to be showing you the uh, $140 unit in the next video. So be sure to check that one out. Don't forget to subscribe. There's going to be giveaways up in the near future, probably after the first of the year. So you want to subscribe and be part of those. See you later.